So triggers should be your last resort for doing any sort of constraints on your data. If you can solve the problem with a simple primary key or foreign key or unique constraint or or uh, the other types of constraints, check constraints, <laughs> for example, because I have a check constraint here. If you can solve your uh, constraint issue with those, by all means use them uh, much more slick, uh, uh, terse, that kind of thing. Anyway, but uh, I want I want to show you when you do write a check constraint, not check constraint. When you write a trigger, uh, it doesn't override any of the other constraints. A trigger is just some extra code that you're writing around the other constraints. Okay, it's still important that all the other constraints pass. For example, I've written this check constraint in this table I've just contrived up. I called it biased. So this person is, or this table is biased, and it says the value. We don't want the value to have an A and then an uh, an I. And I I cannot follow an A in the value. Okay. So when I um, turn on, I say insert into biased uh, values, and let's just insert myself into this table. Okay. Uh, we're going to get a, we're, this check constraint is going to fail. If I run it, insert statement conflicted with check constraint, okay? So I've just made a table that's biased against me because I have an A and then I eventually have an I, and, and that follows this pattern, okay? So, so if I create a trigger on this bias table, for example, let's create trigger, contrived trigger, on biased after update as begin, end, and I'm going... In this trigger, I'm actually going to do something I probably shouldn't do. I'm going to say insert into biased uh, values, um, I don't know, F -F 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 A, F -F 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 I, F -F -F -F, uh, F -F. Okay, so I'll notice that this, this trigger, it's an after trigger, which means it's going to execute after uh, data is updated on this trigger. So let's go here and say insert into bias. Let's put a value that we actually can do. Uh, values. Uh, K. Alright. K doesn't fall into this this uh, this like expression that we don't like. Okay. So insert values K. We're good. No problems. The trigger didn't execute. One, because it's not installed. So let's install it. F5, but even if it was installed, it wouldn't have uh, executed because we said after update instead of instead of insert here. Okay, so let's let's update now. I'm going to say update biased set the value is the only column equal to uh, another legitimate value W. Okay, W doesn't break this this constraint we have here. So think about this. Uh, we're doing an update. We're going to set the value to W, and there's only one row in there left over from our from our insert from bias. Let's just pull the table up. We got the K. We've got to change it to a W. But when I do this update, it's going to cause this this trigger to run because I said uh, after update, and then this trigger is going to turn around and try to do something that will violate this constraint. Okay. So one, I want you to notice that one, we can't override. Uh, any of the other constraints. The co other constraints on the table, unique, primary key, check, foreign key, all those other constraints are still checked. It's just a trigger adds some little extra code around it. So so this this update's actually legit. This W should go in just fine. But then the trigger turns around and does something wrong. So let's run this and see what happens. F5. Uh, there's already an object. Good idea. Let's 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 just run the update because I don't have my checks to remove the trigger. So let's run this again. F five, the insert statement conflicted with the check constraint. Yada 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 yada. All right. Not now. This update didn't cause any problem. It's this insert. This insert caused a problem. So what do you think is in the biased table? Before we had a K, and I said update it to a W. So is it K or is it W? You'd be wise to pause the video and think here. I'm going to pull it up. Select splat from bias. Let's see what's in there. Boom. It's still the K. Okay. We tried to do the update, and the update caused the trigger, but all the all this this is considered a transaction. And I'll talk about transactions a little later, but basically it's all or nothing. We don't want to do partial. We want to do all or nothing. Okay. And since this broke this check constraint, then then all this was rolled back essentially we're not letting any of it through 
Okay, so one key thing I want you to notice though, this, this check constraint is checked as soon as I do this. Or not the insert. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as I did this, it also did it on this update, so it actually was checked twice. It was checked when I did this, and the W didn't break anything, so then we got into the trigger, because the trigger runs after we do the update. But then we got in here, and oh no, this insert does something wrong, roll the whole thing back. Okay, so key concept, triggers do not override all the other regular constraints in your table. It's just extra code around it. Now, there's, it runs a little differently with an instead of, but I'll show that in the next video. But I, but I just want to make that clear here.